Hi there, and welcome back to Therapist Thursdays. I'm Dr. Syra, and today I want to talk to you about something that seems like a simple concept, but it takes effort and thoughtfulness. And what I want to talk to you about today is how to make it stick. So what do I mean by that? Well, during this COVID-19 pandemic, um, many of us have realized things, like maybe we've realized that we want to spend more time with certain family members or friends. Maybe we've realized that we rush too much. Maybe we realize that we need to cook at home more often, right? So we have all these like, oh wow, epiphanies, and I'm seeing it all over social media, like, oh, because of COVID-19, and thank you, COVID-19, because it's woken me up to this or that. I was watching um, the governor of New York talking about how, you know, now he's realizing that he wants to have a meaningful relationship with his children, which he didn't have because he was blah, 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 blah. Everybody's talking about it. And the thing about resolutions um, is that they never stick, right? So if you think about New Year's Eve, right, people make these and they don't stick. And part of that is because it's like this good idea at the time, but we haven't thought through how to actually implement. So what I want to talk to you today is how to make these things stick that you've learned or that you've started valuing again because of the situation that we're in. So it's kind of a three-step process is the way I see it. So the first step is being really clear about what are the things that you have now that you didn't have before. So an example, for myself, one of the things I've noticed is that um, morning is a really productive time for me. So in the past, I was so resentful. I'm like, I'm not a morning person. Nighttime's better, blah, blah, blah. I had all these stories. And now I'm realizing I, I get my best work done first thing in the morning. And so for me, that's something that I want to pull in to the post-COVID situation to really know that, oh, first thing in the morning is when I'm actually creative and then build that into my schedule. So there's an example. Another example might be, um, oh, I notice I don't actually play outside with my kids. Like I just never do that. Now during COVID-19, we're playing Frisbee and we're like, we're outside at least like four or five times in the week, we're playing outside. And so that might be another kind of thing that I wanna pull in. And so making a list and really identifying what are these different things that I'm doing differently now that I want to bring into the next phase. So that's the first thing. The second thing is looking at areas in your life that you need to cut back, right? So, you know, there's many of us are finding like that we were really busy, like really busy, so busy we didn't have time to eat properly, sleep properly, interact with our family and friends properly. Like we were just rushing and it was so intense. And I mean, for many people right now is, is a very intense time too, especially if you're a first responder, frontline worker, essential service worker, um, or somebody who's working from home or working at home, I call it, um, and your workload has doubled or tripled because now you're doing a lot more. So I understand that, okay, not everybody's had some quiet time, but for many of us, there are things that we've realized we don't really need, that we've prioritized, we've made time for, that actually drain our energy, that pull, pull from us. And so that would be the second thing to do is identify, like looking at your life before, and what are some of the things that you could actually strike off that list? Like for me, I'm looking at, you know, all the kids' activities that we used to be involved in. And, you know, I always thought, well, like kids need to be, you know, they need to be in sports and they need to be in this and they need to be like well-rounded and blah, blah. But my kids are so much happier when we're not rushing to the next thing. Right. And so for me, that's going to be something that we really look at as a family is like, what are the activities that are just adding busyness and stress? And can we build those times of just blank space in the calendar? And the blank space is where the creativity comes. The blank space is where the connection and the bonding opportunities come when we when we have that unscheduled time just being at home together, right? That's when it comes. So that's the second thing is carving away the things that you don't really need, or at least you don't really need for the next little while. The third thing would be prioritizing. So I, I can speak for myself. I think my priorities were all messed up before. Like we paid attention to what was urgent instead of paying attention to what was important, right? What's important are the relationships I have with those I care the most about. What's important is my physical and mental well-being. What's important is my kids and my husband and my home. That's important, but that's usually not urgent, right? What's urgent is that next email I need to reply to or that next 
you know, project that I need to get started on. That's the things that are usually urgent or we are out of milk. And so we're going to run to the store and get the milk. But if we can shift our thinking from what's, you know, we used to really be in this place of urgent, managing the urgent. And so then you feel like you're firefighting all the time and, and getting clear about, well, what's really important. And in a day, can I balance my day so that I'm, it may be not, I mean, we are going to have to deal with things that are urgent. That's not, there's no getting away from that. But can you balance that out with things that are important, not just things that are urgent, right? So that's another, that's the third kind of thought that I have. So three things. The first is getting a list of what you want to, you know, bring forward into the next phase. What do you want to let go of and what's urgent versus what's important? And then prioritizing your list of, okay, what are the things that are the most important and then fitting the urgent things in rather than the other way around. So those are my thoughts for today for Therapist Thursdays. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Dragonfly Wellness TV. Um, there's lots of different things we're doing on this channel, so look around. Leave a comment um, below and tell me about what's important versus what's urgent in your own life. What is it that you're going to start prioritizing as we move back into the new normal, it's such a cliche, right? Everything, the new normal. What's going to be your new normal? What's the most important things that you're going to make time for as we move into this? So I'll see you next Thursday for Therapist Thursday. Take care.